What's going on, everybody? The drama continues at the mermaid party. Paige, what's good with you and Remy? And Kehlani is a fan? All that and more, and it's ladies' night. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> <laughs> drama. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. Lord. What's uh, up, everybody? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Another episode of Are You the One After Show, and it was a really great episode. I'm excited to get into this. And yes. as you can see, I am not Uncle Lem, and <laughs> but I'm not alone. It's your girl, Melody Rose, and as always, I'm joined here by my sis, since they don't play, what's up? Oh, yes, y'all. How you I feeling? I barely made it in. I am so sick, but I was like, you know what? I could not leave y'all hanging and Melody hanging. Like, there was just no time. This episode was too spicy for yes. me not to be here. Like, we got so much tea to cover. We do. And we got a bomb guest today. We do. Speaking so, of our know, guests, it's, it's guest, guest time. time. Okay, it's not the same when we do I it. know, but <laughs> if you didn't see her this episode, you definitely heard her. Her. Give it okay. up for Nor. Yes, we got Nor Yanker in the building. What's up, guys? You looking What's good? Up? Yes. Thanks, thanks, Welcome thanks, to uh, <laughs> Ladies' Night. Yes. I feel oh like God, this I'm is. So excited. I know. I feel like this is like the best time for you to come on. It here, is. We got a lot of tea to cover this episode. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we do have a lot to talk about. For sure. Okay. Well, <laughs> we I think we should get straight into hop it. Into it. The last episode ended with us hearing Nor go off, and then this one started with that happening again. So, Nor, what um, what's going on? What is setting up? you off this season, okay? And I mean, let's really get into it because I know you're watching these episodes and I know a lot of people got to say a lot of things about you, you know? Yeah. So, I'm glad you're on here to kind of, you know, let's hear it. What's up? What's up, girl? Okay, okay. So, <laughs> let me <laughs> let me get straight to it. Honestly, um my whole initial reaction to things I want to say has a lot to do with alcohol. When you have an insane amount of alcohol, you tend to exaggerate a lot of feelings that you have inside. So if you're mad inside, the alcohol is going to enhance that. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. And I hate to blame my actions with alcohol, but that was the root of it. However, okay. however. I do want to be honest about certain things in my actions. Um, me approaching Jasmine was uncalled for. Um, and me treating Paige the way she was, the way I did, uh, was uncalled for. That's not okay in any way, shape, or form. So that's something that I take responsibility for and I own up to it. And I've apologized. So, um, yeah. What, but. Yeah, okay. Okay. The, cra the craziness of it all is, honestly, I was just, I'm, I'm a one person type of person. You know, I, my attention is always on just one person. I don't know how to do multiple people at a right. time. Okay. So obviously, you know that coming into the show. So I was just like, I'm gonna test myself right now. I'm gonna test myself and see how I do. Obviously, I failed. Right, I right. Feel. Well, I feel like <laughs> Kai, in that situation, if you're that kind of person, Kai is just a huge red flag. It's just a no-no. Oh, my God, I know. But it's crazy because like n nobody knows that the relationship that I've built with Kai was from the very start. Like, me and Kai went into the house, and we established each other as friends. Like, we already knew that from the start. Um, but he was like the person that I would always go to and I would be the person that he would always go to. So it was just like we built a friendship, you know? So after that, once we actually started being like, I guess, romantic together, that's when things got a little sour. Okay? Got it. And that's when jealousy kicked in and that's when, right. you know, that's my man. What the fuck? Okay. Right, right. I mean, what do you think? Like, do you feel like it was certain triggers? Because I know, like, sometimes, you know, like, us women, like, we get super defensive. And, like, you know, when it came for Paige in that whole situation, because it's like, we really can't tread lightly on it, you know? You really had yeah, so no. many words to say about her. And, I mean, yeah. and, like, and then kind of it started with Jasmine a little bit, too. Like, is that kind of, like, your go-to? Like, is it, like, deeper than, like, what everyone's seen? I mean, yeah, it's the liquor, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm trying to see if there's maybe something a little bit deeper in there that, you know, us as viewers don't see. I mean, 
I don't. I, I wouldn't even say that it like roots from like a trauma that I've had or anything. It's yeah. not that deep. Um, but when it comes to like me, I guess like calling Paige an ostrich, an animal. It's it's there's something with animals that I've done ever since I was little, and it has nothing. And I'm not trying to be insulting, although it does come off as extremely <laughs> insulting. Yes. obviously in that given moment. Um, but I I I used to call my best friend a shrimp. You know what I mean? And she used to call me a monkey and a cat. And it's just something that I've done since I was little. And it's just like, whenever I have jokes, I'm like, man, you know nothing but a hippo anyway. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it's just a joke that I would do. But at that moment, that was my comeback to her. Right. And I was just like, well, you're going to come after my girl? No. Uh -huh. And I, you know, and yeah. I was being disrespectful so um, that's not cool i mean speaking about your girl amber you know um she I mean, <laughs> we had her in studio not too long ago and yeah. i mean going kind kind of back to that episode um and seeing how it actually played out you know with amber going on the date with Paige, and you know she's not actually she didn't kiss Paige, right. and you were in the house yeah. being noriega like mm -hmm. you know having the time of your life mm -hmm. kind of take us through the motions of of that and you know obviously what we saw was super real and amber kept it really real with you i feel like the whole time in the house and how hard was it for you to move on from that relationship when she told you you know i'm i'm not into it anymore pretty much so i mean at that moment going back to what we were talking about before like i initially felt insecurity when Paige wanted to go at amber i was just like <gasps> no you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so that was like the initial reaction that I got. Like it was just like a little bit of insecurity. And then when I went and I talked to Amber, like Amber reassured me, like you have nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it. Now, what they didn't air out, ugh, I wish they did, um, is <laughs> so when I came out dressed as Noriega, I was feeling myself. You have yes, no girl. idea. I was just like, oh, we felt it through okay? the TV. You know, and the thing is, they didn't even catch me when I was sober because I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. So I guess. All the ladies in the house were coming up to me and they were just like, oh my God, Noriega. And like grinding on me. And I'm just like, oh shit. Damn, yeah. I, sh I, I should have got Noriega a long time ago. Right. I should have had him come out a long time ago, whatever. <sighs> so I was in the zone and I like, I don't know. I was just so in the moment and it was just like a, I wasn't thinking. I yeah. wasn't thinking and it was just it was just one of those situations and I feel terrible for doing that to Amber because she's a sweetheart she doesn't deserve that mm -hmm. she deserves so much better than that mm -hmm. so um for me to do something like that to an angel yeah like her was really really messed up on so many levels okay my thing um you know you said you had a connection with kai from the very beginning and it was a friendship yeah. that built into a relationship so mm -hmm. when all the drama starts happening why are you not going after kai's neck mm. okay so i did i did initially in not the episode that aired on monday but the one before that i went up to kai while he was having his little photo shoot mm -hmm. um i went up to him and i was like kai i need to talk to you and he's just like you know are you drunk and i was like no just let's go like that that's irrelevant i need mm -hmm, to talk to you right and that wasn't the first time that i told him like i asked him multiple times but he just like was not trying to talk to me and i get it i guess yeah well, and we see you <laughs> but yeah we see you very like persistent when it comes to trying to talk to jasmine what was the conversation you wanted to have what did you want to hear from her <laughs> so i think it was hysterical that i came in like um like a princess <laughs> Jasmine, I need to talk to you, dear. Like, where did that come from, first of all? Um, but I saw Jasmine sitting by herself um, in the kitchen. So I was like, you know what? Let me go and let me just talk to her. See, you know, what sh what's going on with her and how she feels about everything. So I went up to her and I guess my the way I approached it, I started to get, like, super aggressive really fast. Yeah, yeah. And then... And then once she said, what did she say to, um, she was like, oh, but you should be apologizing to Kai for barging in on us or something along those lines. Okay. I went nuts. In the boom room. I was room. just like, yeah. yeah. And okay. I was just like, no, absolutely not. Like that's not happening. And obviously with alcohol, the hood yeah. comes out because right. everybody wants to talk about my hood side. Yes, yes. Right. That comes out too. But, um, but yeah, so that was pretty much what happened. 
Okay. It just, it yeah. just got really bad really fast. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the thing with Jasmine is, like, I feel like, you know, we've all been in that position where it's, like, of we course. end up going after the girl right. who's, like, getting the guy yeah. and doing and whatever. And it's not even their fault. Right. And it's not even their fault. You know, we've I've been that bitch sometimes. I, I, no, I mean, I I'm guilty I'm of petty. that for sure. And it's I okay. mean, <laughs> so, you know, I don't blame it on the sense, but I mean, Jasmine was not the one. Definitely not no, the one. You know, not the, the one. one. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Is that seeing her in that outfit and as she's saying, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I'm like, I don't know if I'm turned on by her <laughs> now or if I'm just like kind of scared yeah I, 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 I can't tell right but i like it but i like it I'm yeah i mean <laughs> honestly i think they should just throw kai yeah. out and get yeah, together you and, you and josh should just have, have a moment I'm together for that i mean the thing right. is is like kai definitely was the one who could have dissolved the whole situation absolutely Absolutely. He, he should have got involved. But you know what? The liquor was in his system. And I mean, it got this episode. We saw him kind of lingering on his own. I mean, the best moment, honestly, thus far of the whole entire so, show was yeah. when it was you and him outside and you were doing your photo shoot by yourself. Oh, oh. I was proud of you in that moment. That was the best yes. moment. You were like, all right, back to my photo shoot. Yes. <laughs> Kudos to you. you. Know, and we oh really see God. Kai kind of, you know, you know, under like kind of realizing, okay, you know what? Something's off here. I'm a little late yeah. at this mm-hmm. party. Something's off. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but you need know, to <laughs> sleep it off. Um, now, we do have questions in the chat room um, to write off the Kai situation. Um, Laura F. wants to know, um, what week were your feelings for Kai turning romantic? Was it after the breakup with Amber? Um, it started becoming romantic. I mean, I I started acting on the romance after me and Amber were but done. But you had always had your eyes on him? But when I first came into the house, he definitely was one of the okay. ones um, that I, you know, saw. And I was just like, oh, hey. Um, but then I noticed that, like, Jenna, because Jenna came up to mm-hmm. me and she was telling me in the very first episode, like, oh, my God, Kai. And I was like, okay, I got you, boo. Go ahead, do your thing. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know? So, yeah, so that's why I never pursued him and he never pursued me because like, right. we kind of just had our own thing going on. Okay, mm-hmm. yes. Um, and obviously, you know what is going on online on social media. Yes, they are girl. going crazy since this episode aired. Uh, <coughs> we saw Paige go on a whole rant about you and saying that you were pretty much bullying her on the daily and we didn't even get to see oh half of it. What do you have to say oh about that? God. And what about these crew members, girl? Mm-hmm. Oh. So, tea wait, time. Said, oh my god. Go ahead. Bring it up again. Oh. oh my god. Okay. So, the whole bullying, I already admitted that I was extremely rude to her in regards to like just, you know, uh, saying ostrich and saying all these, just calling her names and just being like really, really mean in that sense. Um, but the fact that she went on social media and she said that I like basically tormented her every single day, girl, I don't have time to do that. I don't have time to do that. I'm trying to make connections. So she really exaggerated the truth in that sense and said that I did that to her every single day. And that's not cool because I'm already like dealing with a lot and I'm already like, I'm, I'm trying basically to own up to everything that I did right, right? Okay. but now you're you're stretching it you're stretching okay. it and uh-huh. you're and you're making things seem like they're like it's just it just wasn't cool when she did that so I was like dude like it's not cool okay but. and I mean we do see you in the house making a lot of connections and really you know trying to find your perfect match you know and I mean Paige did look bored a lot of the time, you know, I mean, and I will say that and, you know, and people can say what they want to say, mm-hmm. but I mean, we see it on TV and, but nothing against Paige. I, I, I don't condone bullying, you know, no. she's a beautiful woman. Yeah. But at the same time, I see what you're saying. Like you were making a lot of connections and, you know, you're owning up to the fact that, you know, it wasn't right at all for you to say the things that you've said to her. Right. And I think from this point on, yeah, I think it's time to move forward. At least you're owning up to it. And I mean, it's either take it for you want or, you know, keep it pushing. That's how yeah, I feel. I mean, Melody, what you think? I mean, same. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, she um yeah. Well, I mean, she 
I was just I was just getting upset because I felt like everybody in the house was like actually really putting the effort to make connections with people. And she was probably like one of the only ones that really wasn't like at all. Yeah. So we we're all just like, yeah, how are you going to come and try to take my potential match? <laughs> oh, oh, Amber. I mean, and then at the matchup, <laughs> at the matchup ceremony, um, you we, oh! we see Kai saying we Jenna pretty much puts Kai on the spot and says, you know, he told me that he loved me. Right. What, what was the reaction from you there? Oh, my God. So when I heard that. I was just like, oh, good riddance. Really? <laughs> Literally good riddance because I'm over it. I'm so over it. You're, yeah, just playing the playing the field and not, I guess, being honest 1,000%. I mean, yes, he did come up to me and Jasmine and <clears throat> sat down and was mature about the whole situation um, and said, like, hey, listen, like, I'm pursuing both of you guys, but then you're gonna go and say that to Jenna mm -hmm. after you know you're not a confirmed match. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, like, if you're crazy. a confirmed no match, stay away from right. each other. And that's yeah. it. Yes. Like, you're in this house for a reason. If you have a no confirmed match, stay away from each other. And if you continue, you're messing with my money. Definitely. Like, that's not cool. So what do you think thus far um, in the season, you know, were you really trying to start to grow, you know, um, just from everything that we've seen aired? Um, is there anything like you regret, you know, thus far or anything that stands out that like you kind of took from it and really like learned and started to change after you left? I definitely learned a lot about myself. I learned that I do have a very short temper um, and that I have to be patient and I have to be a little bit more understanding. Um, so that's something that I definitely took away from the show. Like I, I definitely got that from the show, um, just being around like all these different personalities and actually realizing, okay, I'm wrong and they're right and I need to listen, you know? So I definitely grew from that experience for sure, hands down. And so at this point, since you're already off Kai when you hear that about him and Jenna, um, is there anyone else you have your eye on immediately that could be your match? Girl. <laughs> where's my where's my tea? Because we saw you in the beginning. You had a connection <laughs> with um Justin. Was it Justin? I yeah. know. That grew yeah, so Justin, quick. Justin. Did you ever look back and think maybe that could still be a thing? Or was at that at that point Justin is like head over heels for Max. Right. Max is head over heels for him. So there's no way getting in between Jax. Okay. <laughs> there's no way. You know what I, I mean? So that. even if that thought did cross my mind, like I wasn't even going to pursue it. Amazing. Okay. Well, we just want to say thank, thank you so you much for, for coming on the us. show. Is there any <laughs> other comments or any other things you Anything wanted to get off you your chest say? before we, you know, let you go? Yes, definitely. Um, I would just tell the audience, don't judge a person based off of what you see on reality TV wholeheartedly. Like, don't just go based off of that. Actually get to know that person and maybe you'll find them to be pretty cool, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's there you have it. There well, you have we it. find you pretty cool, girl, yeah. girl you know? Let, every know. let everyone know where they can follow you on social media. Yes, it's. Um, it's going to be in for Instagram and Twitter. It's at Norfridge underscore. Amazing. Thank well, thank you so much thank for you, coming girl. in and answering our questions and being such a thank gem. You. Thank you for having me. Of thank course. You. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. You too. Bye. Bye so you guys don't go anywhere. We're going to be answering calls here soon. Yes. So stay tuned for that. You know, the number will be, um, be popping up soon. Yeah. But you know, before let's, we let's talk about this episode, yeah, we get into this episode girl. Cover. Um, yeah. What did you think? What did you think <clears throat> about? Well, first of all, Kai is, I, I don't know how to feel about Kai right now because you know, he'll sit there in the confessional and be like, Oh, hashtag fuck boy. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. then when everyone's coming at him, he wants to cry and walk away and not any, let anyone speak their piece. <sighs> this is my thing. Um, you can see in this house, there's a whole lot of love. Yes. And a lot of people care about Kai and they want him to work on himself. Mm -hmm. But he, it's, it's hard for him to hear what they have to say. And I think it's because he already knows it. Yeah. And he's in denial and he wants to be better, 
but he's just caught up in, I mean, all this action he's getting. I mean, you know, he said it himself. This is like the first time people are really seeing him in an attractive light, and he's seen himself in an attractive light. And, you know, it's a lot for him to take in. Like, do I defend how he's treating the woman? No. No. Like, he needs to learn he's that it's not okay. You're walking li- away to the next one. And right in front of their faces. <laughs> so, you it's know. bold, but yeah. shitty thing to do. And which I'm kind of like, uh, Jasmine, girl. Like, you know she's you're a lot better than this, Someone right? even said you're okay with being the side chick. And it's Honey, just they like, said it. I didn't even <laughs> say it. Oh, I, didn't, I wasn't going to say it, it mm, but that's basically what I it know. is. Um, mm. And then how did you feel when Jenna told Danny, hey, you're Kai's perfect match? I kind of can see that and I kind of feel bad for Danny. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, uh, like, it's always fallen back on Danny because Danny can handle Kai. Right. And um, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if they ended up actually being a perfect match. Girl, I don't know. But what I'm here for is now this whole Remy. Page situation. Okay, so you're here for it now? I'm here for I'm it now. I'm still not here for what? it. <laughs> what? I'm here for, like, Remy finding love. Like, Remy, I want you to find love, He's and I want you so to really take love and, said, like, embrace it, and I think that's what he'll take from this show, is really trying to find his true love and really settle down. Like, that's he, what I feel like he's taking from the show, because Paige don't want him. He don't, she don't want him. I'm sorry, if any man said, Melody, <clears throat> um, break my heart, like, I love you, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute to me. No. What? I mean, he's totally giving me the feels, and, like, it's totally cute. Right. But it's like, you know, it's like Paige is trying, trying so hard to want it. Yeah. But she just doesn't want oh, it. God. Like, and I, I mean, at least I can feel that through the phone. I mean, viewers, what do you guys think, you know? Speaking of viewers, the phone lines are open. The number yes. to call in is 424-354-8302. Yeah, I want to know your all's thoughts. So let us this. know what y'all want to talk about. What? Spill some tea. Let's do this. Again, um, it's 424-354-8302. All right, and talk it up with us, um, because yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not falling for the antics. Okay, and let's um, let's jump fast forward real okay, quick let's to it. this matchup ceremony. Um, we see that they got. First of all, we see my boy Brandon. <laughs> That's oh yeah, my boy, bae. <laughs> my Bay, mm-hmm. and Asia. Um, mm. co- they look so good. They like, do. What They're glowing, they been- honey. Yes. What have they been doing? Right. They've been getting it popping in the honeymoon suite, girl. They Did you see both- that glow? Yes, they mm. were looking amazing. I was happy to see them. And then we saw that they got two extra beams. We know that one beam for sure is, is Basit and, and Jonathan. Jonathan. Who do you think is that other beam? Because Ooh, last week we you said you were coming in. Okay, okay caller. Okay. What What's up, up, caller? What's your name? Where are you from? I hear us. Did we call? <laughs> Steph, did we call? Hello. Oh, hey, hey, whoever's online, I think you need to pause the YouTube. Oh, is that what's happening? I think that's what's okay. happening. There we go. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hey, who's calling? Hi. I'm Bree from San Francisco, California. Hey, hey Bree. What's going this on, girl? This episode, oh, my God. Talk about it. It was a mess. <laughs> I'm really surprised it led all the way through this freaking party, and then we got a matchup ceremony, and we only got three matches right i'm just like why i mean i called it but yeah what do you think who do you think that extra beam is Uh, i don't know (laughs) like i i want to say it's max and justin but i'm i'm very 50 50 me too especially knowing that next week we're finally gonna figure it out i'm just like i don't know yeah i mean i definitely think there's a high chance that justin and max are not a match i've been said that since day one i know i mean this episode for sure was kind of like ooh, because at this point we all don't know who kai's match is at this (laughs) point and we're hoping it's danny because that's the only situation that i think can be sorry danny but yeah but yeah. I, I love Danny, and I'm kind of sad that if Kai is his perfect match, if if I had a choice, I would want him to be the fit perfect match, but... Uh. I know, I feel you. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. All right, good night. We have another Bye. caller. All right. Bye. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Oh. Or not? I think so. Girl. They hung up. Oh, they hung okay. up. 
call back if you are hearing this right okay, now. Okay, yeah. You guys call back if you are hearing this. We will put you through the phone lines. All right. But in the meantime, let's yeah, talk that, about uh, that um, honey. Bas- I can't believe oh, Basit and Jonathan. Yes. Ah! How cute was the Jonathan spa? Oh, we got a call coming through. Hello. Who's calling? Hey, it's Kaya. Hey, hey Kaya. Kaya. Hey, I miss y'all to miss talking to y'all. <laughs> I know. What's the tea, girl? How you feeling about this season and this episode? Oh, I, I I love this season so much. I don't know why a lot of people hate the season. Like, sexually feel because I love bisexual people. Mm-hmm. I love all of them. I think they're all amazing. And they're, this season is really entertaining, the top entertainer. Are you the one season of all of them? I oh, agree. Okay. I definitely agree. Um, do you feel that Paige and Remy are a match, or Jax and um, and Jax are a match? <laughs> <laughs> um, I most definitely feel that Remy and Paige are one, and Jax. But the thing about Remy and Paige, because mm-hmm. in the way beginning, I definitely was not feeling Remy at first. Because right. same thing, I slept same, with nine hundred people. Like yeah, really I like proud about sleeping with nine hundred people. <laughs> like really, Remy. <laughs> Really? Yeah, but he's given all of his stuff to Paige. Yes. You know, at first, I was kind of stuck. I thought Paige and Amber could be one. But now looking back on it, I do feel like Remy could be one. Yeah. Paige just needs to open her eyes and see that. And I definitely am here for Jax. Like, they are a match. And if they're not a match, I'm going to start crying. Like, oh, I can't girl, we'll be crying with you. Have the tissue ready because they're not a match. Ooh, <laughs> I'm Melody. Saying. You don't think they're a match? I don't. You don't think they're a match? I don't. And, and the way that... You don't like that love? I like them together, but the way that Max is babysitting yeah, at Justin. the party, I mean, like, girls, let's all be real here. Match. Because if you got a babysitter. Well, you know okay. what? I was thinking that okay, too. Okay, but this is the thing. Okay, but this is the thing though. If they're not a match, who do you think could be Justin and Max match if they're two or not? Because I don't, I don't know who could be their match. And, and who, Amber. Oh my God! Yes, I love them. The way he was looking at her in the confessional. <laughs> they could be yes. a match. Yes. <laughs> High key, and then Max. Oh. oh, I don't know for Max. I don't know. I mean, he deserves someone loyal. Very. Um, you know, someone who yeah, I don't really know yet. Isn't I'm gonna, gonna have stray. to let that yeah. marinate a little bit. But you know. you know, I kind of feel you too because the way that you know Justin was treating Max. I mean, it was great that he like actually had some willpower to say no to Amber. You know, and yes. that he stuck with Max. Mm-hmm. I was really proud. Of, he got some kudos for that. I mean, one. but then again, Max is standing right there, so I don't know exactly. Well, oh, thank Melody. you. What's up? Oh, yeah. oh, What's up? You didn't catch what I sent you, right? I did. Wikipedia gave away a perfect match with Nora and Jasmine. Where is and that? I knew it. I knew Nora and Jasmine were a match. Wait, what are you guys talking it. about? She, I said, okay. watch this. Kaya always DMs me like the tea tea. And she sent me today. Yeah. Like, she sent me no tea. Well, because I'm messy melody. So, you know, and so it's That's like, true. where is this coming from? This confirmed match? Like, where does that come from? It came from online, like, you know, people on Wikipedia, they always have, they always know before we know for some reason, and they put Nora Jasmine as a perfect match. Wow. And I said, watch, they're going to be a perfect match, and they're fighting, and then they're going to come together. I said, mm-hmm. it's always the ones that butt heads the yes. most who are the perfect matches. And they gave away Jasmine and Nora. Okay. Wow. Well, that would be a great laugh at the end it of the season. That's for know? sure. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, I don't really trust these online things, but if it's true, then that's funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. Well, definitely, that's laughable. It that's is. Laughable. It would that's be laughable. laughable. Oh my God. Well, we love you calling in. Thank you for <laughs> Thank calling you, in, Kaya. Thank you. Love y'all. Love, love you. you too. Bye. Um, All right, back to uh, the. What are we talking about? Jonathan Spa. Oh, yes, the Jonathan Spa. <laughs> He's really putting this effort in. Yes, I, finally. but I was really wanting him to spread that oil everywhere, <laughs> you know? I mean, I was just like, what? I was like, that's it, get real comfy, <laughs> like, put your arms, like, to the side so your arms can get some, like, oil, too. Like, he put it all on yes. the back, and then it was just all, I'm like, okay, we need to just spread <laughs> this out, like, no, but it was super romantic. Right. Like, I loved, you know, that Jonathan does the sweetest things for Bissette. Yeah, I'm loving it, Bissette too. Deserves it all the way. Yeah. You know, they was always down for Jonathan from the get-go. And I can't wait to see, you know, I can't wait to hear how the relationship still is to this day. Oh, I know. You know, I mean, they really built a foundation Mm -hmm. and it shows a lot. I don't know, it just shows a lot that you can't just like go for looks all the time. I mean, I've never been that type, really. But I see, and I've gone for that type, too, where they're like, oh, I love their personality, but then they still... Those are, like, ugly people will still treat you like if they were pretty, and I was like, 
oh, you can't treat me like that. Yeah. Pick a struggle. But see, Basit is not ugly. Like, no. they is beautiful. Basit is queen. <laughs> so. Like, And no, it doesn't matter like, how they everything. dress. Like, yeah. at the party, and regular, it's just fabulous I all around. I love I love, them. love and speaking of loving Basit, um, Kehlani went and mm. tweeted all this, and she's Team Basit, and she's a really big fan of the show. I love it. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I don't see why not. Every almost everyone got a shout out. So yeah, I would, I would have been salty much. if I didn't get a shout. Okay, exactly. Okay. And um, who was her crush? Kylie. Kylie's her crush. Kylie yes. was good. Kylie's beautiful, mm-hmm. by the way. They don't give her enough airtime. I know. But they did. I mean, her and Carrie had a little situation. Do you think they're a match? No. No. Didn't we find out they weren't a match? I don't remember. Oh. Girl, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't keep up. But let's talk about <sighs> some of these people that sat together. Okay, let's do it. Um, Carrie and Remy threw me because why wouldn't oh, you I let know. Remy sit with Paige? Carrie, kinda, girl. She pulled, Carrie. She pulled a Jonathan. She did. <laughs> she Carrie, pulled a Jonathan. we didn't need that today. We did not need that today. <laughs> All right. Then we got Kai and Jasmine. Justin and Max, Jonathan Bassett, Nor, Kylie, Danny and Amber, Paige and Jenna, which a lot of those, I can see why they only got yeah. the two extra beans, but yeah. I'm really struggling to see who I that know. other it beam is. It just sucks that they keep on getting like two extra beams. It's like, I mean, what the hell? Yeah, I don't really know at this point. I really don't know. But I'm for sure going to stand behind the whole Justin and Max not being a match. Because, again, okay. at that party, yeah. let's talk about that. Because it's not even the party. It was Girl also the, the suck and blow. Mm-hmm. Like, Max is just, do you really, he's having anxiety now about being in the house. He's so eager to get out of the house so that there's no temptation mm-hmm. for Justin. And that's just not a relationship you even want to be in. Nope, sure don't. Mm-mm. Like, I don't want to, oh, oh we got a caller. <laughs> What's we really up? Chill today. I know we are. What's up, caller? Who's calling? Where are you from? I'm back. I'm from Baltimore. Baltimore. What up? Welcome to Ladies Nights. <laughs> you actually answered. Yeah, of course. What's up? What do you want to oh, talk but, about? Um, Jackson's a perfect match. What? No. 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 They all per- they all perfect match. Trust me. What? Why? Um, Why? Norma and Jasmine. Norma and Jasmine is a match. Okay. Remy and Kai is a man. Okay, hold up. Okay, first of all, I don't want no spoilers. <laughs> and I don't think Kai and Remy are a match. No. Okay, first of all, let's say. And, and, but mm-hmm. Jax has a whole group. It's Jax fans, and we have a group chat, and we dissected everything. Okay, so we wait, know what, what? Okay, well, it's a whole group that's wrong, so go back and tell your group that. <laughs> no, our group is right. <laughs> They're not even compatible. <laughs> and then and then we've seen the list of the perfect matches. Those, uh, see, I'm not even... See, I like to watch the show without looking at any list. True, true. I like to just see the connections and make my own but judgments. But look, I mean, Jax's fan base is serious. I know it okay? is. Okay, so, I mean, if Jax is not a match, I mean, the whole Twitter but- is about to just blow up <laughs> but we need someone for danny and i feel like kylie is someone for danny mm, I, can, I, I mean i could see that i could but, but i don't know. I, I, can, see Kai. <laughs> I can see amber and Paige together too oh no no not no more not no more that ship has sailed you don't think Remy, well the Remy match makes, the match makers probably thought there was a perfect match maybe mm. I mean, maybe. I mean, I'm liking the way you're thinking. You know, you definitely have some high hopes. Um, yeah, but I know Jax is definitely a match. Okay. You know what? Well, I, we're going to find when out When we next find week. out, I want you to be in the live chat or calling in so I can say, <laughs> I told you so. Mm-mm. Okay, and I'm going to say, I told you so. That's fine. We Wait, got a date. Baltimore, what's your name? Uh, we, oh, yeah, we got a date because I want all the smoke. <laughs> what is your name? Remind me of your name? My name is Rock. 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 I, oh, I see you in the live chat. I'm gonna be looking for you. You, you, you were the one that's saying you missed the fellas, huh? Oh, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I miss them too. Don't get yeah. me wrong. This is real dry. Just me and her. I mean, <laughs> I we love it. We but hope you guys are enjoying that. yourself. Uh huh. Whatever. Whatever. That's you want fine. the smoke? I'm giving it to you. I'll, I'll be accepting you. Thank well, you so well, much. I, well, well, the Jacks fans, we don't appreciate it. Appreciate y'all saying they not a match. <laughs> Look, a I hope they are for you guys. I really do. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I, you know, I they want you guys to love, love, because I love, love too. All right. Thank you so much and for coming. Together you. in real life too. So right. whatever. We'll see. So we got a date. I'll All see right. you then. Rock. <laughs>
He was cute. He was. They I go really hard for okay, Jack. They did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Y'all are going to be mad. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Not God, movie. Really? No, I, I'm nervous. It's too much tea for me. I just can't I wait. I just feel like I'm right. There's no way I can be wrong about this. Um... Mm. Will we get a reunion for this season? Since you're not even reading the questions, people got questions. We don't know if they get a reunion, but if they don't, we will absolutely. Oh, we're definitely going to have one here, okay? It's about to be lit. All and um, we can go ahead and tell them who we have come um, oh, yeah. on the next show week. next week, guys. Next week. I see that they've already been requested. Mm-hmm. It's Paige and Remy. Yes, we got Paige and Remy coming in next week. We got Paige who's going to talk her talk. We got Remy who's going to talk his talk. I love Remy now. I I'm can't loving wait. Remy. No, I totally, I'm here for it. And I and I can't wait to actually just get them in the studio and be like, okay, Paige, what's good? Like, right. Do you really like Remy like that? You know, I know he here and all, but like, <laughs> I need no tea. But you, I can see why she's so hesitant since he reminds her so much of her exes, which are yeah. clearly fuck boys as well. But I just feel like let's give him a chance. Let's break his heart. Oh. Like Kaylani said, let that man love you. Oh. Right? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Um, yeah. So, okay well was that everything did we I cover think, everything i don't know guys did we cover everything did we maybe coming for Lem, us when we don't where are Lem. you we're lost <laughs> without you no i'm just stop. playing and this was great stop no we covered it everybody a lot of drama a lot of madness yeah it was great yeah can't wait for next episode should we get into predictions let's get into predictions let's do it oh my and now you're after buzz tv predictions Oh, man, I don't know. Go first. Okay. Um, oh, well, we're going to find out next week. What do we find out next week? Oh, they do the whole... If Kai and Danny are a match or if Justin and So Max they're going to have match. both of those sitting together or how is um, that working? I think what's going to happen is one of them is going to sit together and the other one isn't. And if they d- get one less beam, that means that they are a match. Oh, and if I'm they get so one, excited Because they know Bissett and Jonathan are. I mean, they don't know, but they do know. I mean, and we know. We know. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm so excited for that. Okay. Yep. Um... And then we see uh, something dramatic did happen. I don't remember. I saw it when it aired, girl. So I I just watched it. I I really wish um, I could remember, but oh well. My prediction. (laughs) This was the worst predictions ever. No, I don't know. We're getting uh, like I said. um, Jax will be confirmed a no match, and uh, yeah, that's my prediction. Rock's coming for you, girl. I don't care. I don't care. See me. Um, Yeah, and I'm hoping like the fighting continues with Nora and whoever wants it. Uh, Yeah, I mean she ready. She stay ready. She even said it, but just not with Jasmine, I guess. Because yeah, she ain't the one. No, Jasmine's not the one, and she let us know. All right, there you guys have it. I made it through. Thank God, Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We hope that that was a good show. We miss our Uncle Lem. We miss our Nino. Um, but make sure you guys tune in again in an hour for X on the Beach. As always, I am your host, Melody, and you can find me everywhere at Melody underscore Rose. And say where you at. Yes, we have Alexis coming in for X on the Beach, so oh, don't cool. go anywhere. You guys can follow me at Sensei Don't Play. That's S I N S E Don't Play. Okay? All right, guys. Until next time. Peace. See you later. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. (laughs) The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.